Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay. Today, we're going to attempt to make our own miniature hybrid rover and ship combination. Here we have a little build platform, pretty simple, and we'll just start out by placing a few small batteries. If you make this thing basic enough, you don't really need a big battery on here. I think that might be long enough. Let's try to put a rover cockpit on here just to make sure. Looks like I might need materials for this. I don't think we have any in our inventory currently. Yep. Conveniently, we just have to grab it from our connector, and then I'll throw it back on here. I'm not putting this direct center, so when we build the rest of it, we're going to build one block to the right from the ones we already put. This way, it's only two blocks wide. For now, instead of filling in all these blocks, I'm just going to make the basic outline. That way you get the general idea, and if you want to skip the very end, you can. In order to be able to hold any elements on here, we're going to add this small connector. And later on, you might be able to change your design a bit to put either a hydrogen generator on here, or a nuclear reactor. Let's see. Let's start putting some of these D-shaped fans. I don't think that's going to work there. If we extend this by one block here and put it in front of the seat, we should get a lot more airflow. Sometimes it's hard to decide what you want to do when you start a new build. So in this case, I just kind of experiment. If we're only having this two blocks wide, then I suppose these D-shaped thrusters should just connect together like that. Otherwise, they'll be sticking out from the body. And the same thing here, we'll just eliminate... Whoops! Forgot that was on the other side. Or we eliminate the one battery, and then we'll put the same D thrusters on each side. There we go. Now they're in line with the front ones. You can remove these two blocks up here, and it should keep everything in the same shape. Okay, now we have those thrusters. Let's see, what else do we need to add to this thing? Well, we could always fill in these blocks. Maybe put a few more batteries so we can extend our range. And it kind of makes it blend together as one solid body. We'll put one thruster on the back here. We don't really have a good place to put the front one though because we put our other thrusters this way. We may have to extend. Yeah, we can't really put it there. It'll destroy the other thrusters. Sometimes you might just have to be a little bit more creative in order to get things to work out. If we put one of these 45 angle blocks on here, we should be able to mount it to the block itself, if I can ever get this thing to go on there correctly. I suppose it's going to take up both sides either way, we can't really stick it in the center by itself. It is what it is, there are limitations to this game. There we are. Then, we can just put this front thruster on there. But we're only going to put it on one side, and probably the opposite side of the back one. There, we're going to throw a thruster or two on here. But it looks like the two is going to be too much, because we want it to be balanced with the back thrust. Instead, we'll go ahead and throw this light on the front.
I think we have most things on here now. We should be able to fill in this section later. There, it makes a complete set of batteries. Maybe add the gyro here. Remember, everything can change. This is not a definite blueprint or anything. You can always change your mind and modify as you go along. Of course, we need side thrusters to control our left to right. But I think it might be strange to have them that far in, so we may have to add another 45 degree block. Yeah, because that's just going to push against each other, and that one looks too far in. But with this 45 block, we'll do the same thing that we did to the front. One on each side. And right here should do it. That way, it's still pretty streamlined, and it only sticks out about a half a block from the rest of the body. And of course, I put the other 45 in the wrong spot. There we go. Easy fix. Now, this rover might not get you to space, but it will handle fairly well with the balance of all these lifters, especially when we add the two meter wheels. Some people may think that there's no purpose behind these, but honestly, if you have one of these rovers that can also fly, you may just save on your hydrogen tanks whenever you try to travel from one location to another on your map. Nobody wants to waste all that hydrogen anyways. And it beats the heck out of trying to take a huge ship and taking all the extra time to slow it down and speed it back up again. I find that this gyro will probably work better on the top and we'll put the remote control on the bottom here with the batteries. I think it'll line up better that way. Again uh, we can line it up. I don't think I have the material on me to make it. There we go. Now that should be most of the basic construct here. It is pretty tiny, but it does serve a purpose. Next, let's try out these wheels. I know when you put these wheels on here, I'm using the short version of the 2 meter, and oftentimes I confuse which way this curve is supposed to go. As you can see, I just put it on upside down. Make sure you put your left on the left side, though, and your right on the right side, in comparison to where your cockpit is. Otherwise, your controls won't work as well. That's the way I think. And one more. Not too shabby. It looks kind of like a rover, but it also looks like a mini ship of some sort. Well, I'm going to just go ahead and grab a bunch of material and start putting this whole thing together. Hopefully afterwards we'll be able to test this darn thing and actually get off the ground, or at least drive on the ground. Feel free to fast forward to this section. For the next about approximately two minutes, we're just going to be finishing off everything.
Okay, well that looks like we got pretty much everything except for this one block here. Yep. I believe we did fill everything out. Let me just fix this. It looks you know, awkward having one on one side and not on the other. As you can see, we are disconnected and already flying. It was a pretty quick build. And yeah, I think I missed something here. We're not moving forward at all. Awkward. Let's see. Nope. My wheels are definitely spinning in the right direction, so my fan should be blowing the right directions. Something on here does not make sense. Let me just set it down for a minute and see if I can figure this out. I have up thrust. Oh, I think I see the problem. So, at some point, I believe I had put this on backwards. So instead of us propelling forward, we weren't going anywhere. And then after that, we should be able to propel ourselves forward instead. Looks almost like a mini four-wheeler or ATV. And we're off. Yep, seems pretty easy to control, fairly balanced, easy to fly, doesn't consume that much energy either. We don't have any type of charger on here, so we are limited a bit in range, but since this is very lightweight, I don't think it's going to use that much power overall. Let's see, that was the flying cape, Billy. I wonder how fast this thing will go. Whoa! Just driving around on ice. I suppose we still have to be careful even though it's slippery. It's not too bad. Oh. We almost bit it again there. And we run right at this building. We take off nice and smooth all the way to the mountainous area. That's what I like about hybrids. One minute you're driving, the next minute you're flying. And then you get to a decent location, but it's kind of awkward when you have different obstacles in the way or unlevel ground to try to land on some darn landing leg. Instead, we have these convenient wheels that allow us to touch down and take off. With a hybrid, you definitely get the experience of both worlds. It might be not too practical to some, but they are still fun to make. Well, as always, thanks for watching, and please leave your tips and tricks in the comments section. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. I appreciate it.